Hello and welcome to our home tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can give a second life to your old computer. So if you have old computer or laptop hanging around with one or two GB RAM, so there's a new Windows, tiny Windows 11, which you can bring your old laptop to life. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the video. To download this tiny 11, you have to go to this website, archive.org and you have to download uh, this uh, ISO. Where you can see it's on the second one, which says there. So basically you need to go and create a, a login for this one. It's free so, and download this tiny 11 B2, uh, the no system requirement ISO based on your, your, your PC performance. So download that one and you can also use torrents if you have torrents as well. So once you download it, you have to go to Rufus where Rufus helps you to put the ISO into a bootable USB. So download the Rufus and install it. Then you can uh, do the Rufus and you can make your USB as a bootable USB. I'm going to show you. So once you open the USB, first what you need to do is select the USB. So this is my USB 120 GB. Then next I need to select my ISO file, which I have downloaded here. You can see I have the download folder and select my ISO file here. Once you've done that, there are two partition schemes here. So one is uh, MBR and GPT. So you need to identify which version your Windows supports it. To do that, what you have to do is go to your computer, uh, to my computer, and you have to go to computer management, oh sorry, disk management, Go to disk management. You can see this is the disk. I'm going to install it. Go to on that disk. You have to right click and go to properties. Now you can see that volumes go to volumes tab. Now you can see my partition. It's GPT. So make sure you support you select GPT from that option. Then burn the disk. So once you've done that, give a name. I just click tiny 11 and click start. So make sure it's going to delete your everything what you have in your USB will be deleted. Make sure you click OK. Once you click OK, this is going to format. All data on your device will be, the USB will be erased. Make sure you back up if you need anything. And once it's done, it will be done pretty quickly. Then you can move along to the, the next bit. So wait for that to complete. Once it's completed, you can move along. Now you can see this is completed, so I'm going to close it. So if you're installing this same on Windows, you can restart it and you can find it on um, the, the boot key. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to shut down and restart it. I'm going to press F12 key. So now I'm going to start from my um, Kingston Data Traveler. So from there, so I'm going to click Enter. So once you click Next, what you can do is you can choose your partition to install it. So my one is ready. This one, I'm going to click next. So this is installing the windows. So there you go. This is quite quick. I'm going to pause this, I'll come back. Now you can see that's installing updates is done, installing features is done, installing updates is um, happening. So pretty, pretty quick. So that's done as well. So now it's going to be finishing up. Now it's restarting. Let's restart. 
So the PC is booting up. So I'm going to go to Windows 11. Now computer completely um, restarted. Just says wait a minute. It's come up with Windows um, 11 animation screen. So I'm going to choose United Kingdom. I'm going to choose uh, United Kingdom again. I don't want any keyboard. You want just a second. No, I don't want to do anything. Okay. Uh, so basically, I don't have um, Ethernet connection is connected. Let's say I don't have internet is connected. Continue the limited setup. So give my name. So I'm gonna give. Um, so I'm gonna give. Ayana. And I'm going to give them a password. I'm just going to leave it as blank. Um, say no. So no for everything. Okay, just wait for a moment. It's getting things ready. There you go. So that is almost started. So Windows 11, it's on uh, this old uh, PC, which is, you know, pretty rundown version. So you can see start pretty much. It's uh, not much of the things is there, but you can still have the many things up there as well. So which is pretty good. And you have a uh, app store as well if you wanted to and all other stuffs are um, added here as well, so which is nice. So this is how you install, um, um, so let's go to task manager. So let's say the processors, CPU, it's only 3%, 2% memory, it's only 1.7% memory is users used, used. And yes, pretty much it's, um, yeah, you can see that. Uh, it's only speed is 2.100 uh, gigahertz and processors is running. It's it's very very good um, So yeah, hopefully this is gonna be uh, speed up the things and you know, please try and let me know how this works for you I like to see you in another video. Thanks for watching